Tom Brady has 30 touchdowns off screen passes in his entire career. Chiefs QB Patrick Mahomes already has 40 screen passes for touchdowns. Really uh, kind of validating what JB has been saying on this show for a long time and his opinion about Patrick Mahomes and the check downs that he often throws. But the conversation and question that I guess I want to have based upon this is just using this stat. Does this like take away from Patrick Mahomes in terms of just the overall greatness that he has in the GOAT conversation? What does this stat mean to you when you see this, JB? It means that maybe some of you fucks should just start listening to what the fuck I say about quarterbacks. And you can hate me for all you hate me for, but when it comes to this fucking quarterback thing, I got it. It's my wheelhouse. Trust me. I'm a professional at it. You fucks out here. See, that? I don't think people can separate the differences between why they don't like you, Smitty, and what you actually know. Mm. And that goes for everybody in the world. You, me, whoever. I don't like T.O. Uh, he was doing sit-ups in his front yard, and he's uh, a shitbird. Has nothing to do with him on the fucking football field. Has zero to do with him. Whatever you don't like me talking about, because I blasted Sketch out, or whatever the fuck his name is, has nothing to do with the fact that I've been calling this shit out for four years. And I've been saying this is a victim of product of environment of Andy Reid's system mixed mm. in with an ad-lib quarterback in a era where you cannot hit the quarterback. It has created a recency bias of Patrick Mahomes being elevated over certain quarterbacks this fast. No. Nobody listens because I've been saying this for years and years and years, Smitty. And there's not really a main quarterback that I've missed on. You can so say, let's oh, real quick. So are you but, saying that Patrick Mahomes' success is due to Andy Reid's offense and the kind of the, the, the team, the Chiefs team overall of the talent nah, he's had around him? Nah, don't, don't, don't peg me into that hole. And I don't mean you are. I'm saying I don't I want to be clear because that's what we do. We, we ask that question and then – that's the clip, and then it goes out there, and JB says that. This is the reason why. No, the reason is he's benefited from a league that cannot hit the QB anymore. A, a, a league that you cannot reroute or hit the receiver anymore over the middle. B, that's huge, by the way, because if I throw a dig route without a guy hitting me, it's a completely different dig route throw than I knowing a guy not going to hit me, okay? The ball's thrown out here, Smitty versus right here on a dig versus pressure and meaning safety bearing down on me. So th first of all, number one, number two, I, a lot of folks won't even understand what I just said. Number two, number three, I mean, we're playing in an era that is basically created from the coach being the head coach in the OC to the quarterback who is protected. And then I could, I put some great weapons around them for the time being. Now, I've given credit to Patrick Mahomes last year, especially with, with, a, with a mediocre wideout crew mm -hmm. and him wanting to play through a little bit of adversity, little bumps and nicks and knacks, wanting to play and not be pulled out of the game. Plus, his father's issues off the field, his brother's issues, his wife in Sports Illustrated, all this shit. It's a lot of pressure on a man. I don't give a fuck what position you play in sports. I give him a shitload of credit for going through all that shit and still being the high-character kid he is. Right. Even though he's got, you can question all the other shit around him. Then you throw on the Travis Kelsey and Swifties and all that other shit on top of it, where we're not even going to bring that up. That's not Mahomes' issue, but it's still, he's a quarterback. All that shit on him and him to win it, I give him all the credit in the world. No credit, not taking nothing away from him. That would be a hater. Right. I'm a truth teller, and I'm telling you, this guy is not close to the GOAT, number one. He's not close to a guy that, like, uh, this isn't even close, Smitty, and this is when Brady used to be, this is when the QB got hit in the chin. This is when the QB got hit in the face. Keep, this keep these numbers up here real quick, though. Why, I wonder why they started specifically at 2007. Because if I'm not mistaken, that's not when Tom Brady got drafted, right? No. Why'd they, why'd they stop? Okay, Bailey just told me. Thank you. It's, Thank it's you. Uh, he said prime year. year for when, when did Mahomes get drafted? 
I'm I'm just curious. Off the top of the head, I can't, I can't remember. Is it was it twenty? Was it sixteen? Seventeen? No, he's only been in league seven, so sixteen or seventeen. <clears throat> sixteen but, or seventeen. Got uh, you. Hey, number three, reason, the reason, so a year before it. that. So like, and that's why I don't like comparing people because like it's so I, I understand why they're doing it, but Mahomes, I mean, is 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 honestly way ahead of Brady in terms of if you take like exactly uh, uh Brady's first what six years in the league compared to Mahomes' first six years in the, in the league, it ain't even close. We're taking Brady's prime years right there compared to what we're considering Mahomes' prime years. But I don't even know if those are his prime years. Mahomes still young, y'all. Like I know we feel like all right, like we've seen the best of him because they've already won what three Super Bowls. They've been to four. He's been to five or six uh, AFC Championship games. But to uh, to you guys' point, I think he got drafted in 2017, and we're calling his prime his second year. In the league, when he became a full time starter, and he's already in his prime as, as soon as he started. Guys don't reach their prime when they first start playing. I get that's probably his best year so far, but he he ain't reached his mental prime. So my point in that is, we're comparing these cats, but I, we just got to see more. To your point, right now today, Mahomes not in the goat conversation to me because it's just. I, I, I'm, I'm glad you say that. I'm glad yeah, you said today, that. right now, today. If he were talking today, but that's the problem. That's the whole reason yeah. of this conversation, though. That's the reason why. But this he's on track, though. Like it, again, on track, he's definitely well ahead of where Brady was at. If you if you go directly, yeah, like I again, don't believe. First, I don't believe so at all. I'm just saying, like like literal facts. Like first six years, first six years. You look at accomplishments. You look at numbers. You look at stats. You look at everything. Like Mahomes is is uh, is ahead of Brady. Su- Super Bowl not. wins. Why? Like, Why? He's, is, he's ahead of Brady. No, he's not. <laughs> like, what do you? You keep saying facts. No, he's not. I, I, okay. I so if we got time today, which we probably don't, but if we don't do it today for tomorrow, let's pull up Brady's first six years. Let's get his passing yards, his passing Remember, touchdowns, yeah. Super Bowl wins. Let's, let's get the main stats. Let's do yeah. the same thing for Mahomes, and, and, and let's line them up. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm not. But here's the thing, though. We got to – the reason this is because, remember, Tom Brady got drafted as a six-round guy that backed up Drew Bledsoe. He didn't start year one and a half or or year – or a half. let me say year half because when Alex Smith went down, Patrick Mahomes was already playing a little bit, and then he started the very next season. Okay, so the one of them started their first year. Okay, so – Brady did not. When they started, and then the first – the first whatever from there. But, but see, that's the thing that happens. That's why I, I wanted to be clear as far as I tried to be as clear as I could when I started this conversation. I've been saying this for four or five years. You dismiss everything I started this debate with. Like, so. yeah, you did. Like, Tom Brady used to get hit in the face, homie. He had chin scars. He got hit and knocked out of games. That's why Drew Bledsoe went back in the game. I don't know if you remember that. Bre- T- this guy right here, fucking – Tippy toes two extra steps because he knows he won't get hit. I understand that. There's a but, fucking difference, homie. But, but There's that's a not, big and difference. I hear you, but it just I don't mind like, you bringing it up because again, I always say context matters. So it's important to bring up the factor. So let me start there. But at the same time, the only issue I have with, with the whole uh era and the rule difference, all that stuff is that we will never ever be able to elevate any players moving forward. Because you will always go back to the fact that the rules are different now. So it's just it's very, very unfair to Mahomes, who's doing everything in his power to be an all-time great. He's winning at a high level. He's playing through injuries, even when he does get hit. And again, we call it we call it a game soft today. It's everything's relative. It's soft compared to where it used to be. It's still football, ladies and gentlemen. Mahomes still getting hit. I didn't see him get sacked and body all twisted. That's how he hurt his ankle in the first place. Body got all twisted up, all type. So guys are still getting hit. But in comparison to where it used to be is why we call it soft. Just let's make things clear. But my point is that it's like it's unfair to a guy like Mahomes or any other future great because we're all all we're going to do, all the old heads going to do is, well, back in the 90s, back in the early 2000s, it was, it was different. You're right. It was different. But what can I do about that today? Only thing I can do is be as great as I possibly can. And we shouldn't discredit Mahomes from what he's doing with his arm at the end of the day. At the end of the day, quarterback, hey, get that ball out. Throw that ball. Like, it ain't like Brady was a guy who was running around a lot and all. Like, he was getting that ball out. He was getting that ball out at a high a high level, a high clip. So I don't know how much 
him him even getting hit was truly truly a factor with him specifically because just like Peyton Man, these guys were sipping that ball, hype, getting it out, reading and reacting quick. You know what I'm saying? So listen, I'll again if 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 Mahomes retires today, it's not even a conversation for me. Brady is clear cut ahead of him. He did too much. I lived through it. We've all lived through it. Me as a coach fan, trust me, he gave me so many just uh, uh upset nights. But Mahomes is on track from an accomplishment and statistical standpoint to be at that same level. On track. Doesn't mean he's going to continue to do it, but he's on pace. He's on track to all you youngsters that never watch real football thinking that he's the GOAT. That's what he's on track to do. Because it's, people don't forget, when they changed the rules when Brady was playing, Brady, Brady was actually bitching the other way. Brady was actually bitching that why. Why can't we get hit low? Why can't we get hit? Brady continues to stand on that fence today, talking about defense should be able to hit the offense. Brady's the only one coming out on every podcast he does, and he's the one that has these sound bites, isn't he or not? Am I tripping? I no, believe right. that's all he is. He is but right. two things can be true. They changed the rules for him, though. So whether he wants them, want them to or not, he when he went down and got his and, leg hit and, and missed the whole season, the rules and, changed. Do not hit. That's the Tom Brady rule. Don't hit that, quarterbacks low. It's not, it's not a Tom Brady rule. It's a Shoot. paid quarterback rule. Yeah, but uh, come on. Be real. We, we know, we know what real. led to it. Like, let's let's be real. But that's, is, but what I'm saying is, though, he at least came out and said, I don't like the rule. I never liked the rule. I want to see these cats be hit. And I'm just trying to figure out, why you guys don't understand there's a difference, dog. When I can tippy-toe down the sideline knowing I can't get hit to steal three extra yards to me is, like, soft as fuck. Like, you're a quarterback, dog. Like, I, I, I listen, it is what it is. We have The story's still being written. That's why I'm set, I, I, I stand on this. I always say stop doing the Reese Bias thing. Stop anointing. Let's see his career finish out. Because I don't know, people always talk about Troy Aikman that when I did that take with Matt on the commercial. The last time I checked, Aikman won the same amount of Super Bowls in the same amount of years as Mahomes. Hey, respectfully, so y'all, uh, and I know don't, we sure don't, don't get Troy Aikman. Don't, 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 don't say conversation is Patrick Mahomes. Don't, don't say respectfully because you never even saw the motherfucker. So Troy Aikman like the same conversation as Patrick Mahomes. Don't act like you saw him, homie. Don't say respectfully. Troy Aikman not in the same conversation as Patrick Mahomes. Because you have no clue what he's about. You have no Troy idea. Troy Aikman's not in the same conversation with Patrick but Mahomes. But you can't tell me why. And I ain't the only one, and I ain't the only I, one I, saying I, I, it. I would expose, oh, cool, you're you right. I didn't grow up in the area. Cool. I would go, expose go, you, go, homie. Go ask guys who actually did grow up in the area and see what they say. I will Go ask actual NFL players who are your age, 40, late 30s, who actually watched them play. And let's see what I they think of him. All time you. great, Hall of Famer. He's not. He's not in the conversation you. for goat. That's not I, even stopping. That Cowboys team you. was loaded with Hall of Famers. I'll fucking and look at his numbers. I'll look at his numbers, you. bro. I'm just saying, I'll like at some you. point, like that has to matter. You always go to Mahomes and say, Mahomes don't do shit in the Super Bowl. He ain't never threw. He ain't never throw for th uh, 300 passing yards I'll until they went to you. overtime last year. Look at this. I'll look at that. You. Look at Troy Aikman's numbers too. Then keep the same energy. All time great. You. I'm not saying that, but don't I'll put him in the same session as Mahomes. Those Again, Cowboys teams no, are no, no, some no, of the no, greatest no, of no, all no, time. No, 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 no. Bailey's, Bailey's in a chat compared to the Chiefs. The Chiefs team that can't even touch that Cowboys Hold team. Go. go back. Hold that. Go back, though. Go back to what you said because I'm going to expose you when you say respectfully. And that, no, it's not respectfully because you didn't even watch the motherfucker. So don't go there because I will expose you because I know you can't break down the two. I know for a fact you can't break down the two differences in these two when I can all day, every day. So don't say respectfully they're not in the same category. You have no fucking idea what you're talking about, homie. And I'm just telling you, respectfully. You're a Troy Aikman stand, so, like, your body no, is not. like, you have no, the I'm Troy not. Aikman goggles. You think no, he's the not. greatest thing since sliced right. bread. So like, right. Like <laughs> AR5, right? Like fucking AR5. I ain't never said he was the greatest, right? though. I said he has the skill set to win the MVP this year. Listen, That's what I said, which I'm going to stand on. Listen, Troy, <laughs> listen, I don't care about if it's Troy Aikman or if it's Joe Montana or if it's, Jer or if it's, if it's Steve Young or if it's fucking Warren Moon or if it's fucking Brett Favre or Aaron Rodgers. I can break down all of them and then I can compare them versus John Elway, Dan Marino, all these different guys. I can break and do a compare and contrast against all of them. Patrick Mahomes is an ad-lib, off-platform thrower who creates plays with his feet. Who and he's great at it. 
who can't hold any of those guys I just mentioned's nutsack for actually playing the position for what it was. Now, you want to throw all these other things in there. If I was in the NFL back in the day and I threw smoke screen, bubble screen, got the football out of my hands like this, I would be sitting here thinking, damn, Troy Aikman was 85% completion percentage. He got the ball out to fucking his slot receiver every time because that's what the offense was. He shoveled past everything in the red zone, and then he fucking did some gimmicky-ass play in the red zone to get Travis Kelsey the ball. If that was what it was, we'd be crucifying Troy Aikman, homie. We'd be crucifying the QBs that played in the day back in the it sound like It sounded like they should have did that. It sounded like sound they should have been doing that. It sounded it sound like every little excuse we make it for why Mahomes is good and great and all that stuff, it sounds like they should have had a better offensive coordinator. They should have been doing – look, oh, my God. I'm not even going – fans look, JB look. I'm not going to say anything. Keep this up for a minute. I'm not saying anything. Just go ahead, JB. Yeah. Break it down. I didn't watch yeah. it, so I can't comment. You're right. I'm not going to yeah. say shit. I'm, I'm not going to comment look. either. I'm not going to comment either. I'm not going to comment either. I'm not going to comment either. I'm just looking – I'm – why you I know talking? numbers don't tell the full picture, but they tell they tell some they tell some things. Numbers tell some things. God Lee, God Lee, this guy was a fucking he was a fucking amazing. He's so Man, much better. I, I, than I thought you were gonna comment, homie. I'm, not, I'm, I'm, not, no, I'm, I'm, I'm praising, I'm praising him, I'm praising him, I'm praising him. He's but amazing. How am I gonna talk? How am I gonna, gonna talk? No, how no, am no, I gonna no. talk if you're talking? I'm, you I'm a mute. I'm a mute. Hold on, I'm a mute. You said no, homie. You said leave the graphic up, and you weren't gonna say nothing. All you fucking have done is talk about a quarterback position you have no fucking clue about. Like, this is the crazy part. There's no reason to comment on this no more. I don't need to talk about it because your stat boys out here who fucking are on TikTok will think that this is the telltale story. But you'll see Patrick Mahomes never throw for 300 yards in a Super Bowl and then, and then fucking glaze his nutsack. Make it make sense. Like, it's fucking unbelievable. I'm not going to talk QBs on this show with people in the chat who don't understand anything that preclude YouTube videos. All I'm like, saying is there's nothing, happens. there's not, listen, you know quarterback, I respect the hell out of you. That's why I'm on the show. If I didn't respect you, JB, trust me, when you reached out to me, I would not be on the show. So I respect you. You know more about quarterback than me. I'm admitting that on the show. But it don't take a genius to look at what I just saw. And for you to tell me that this guy is better than Patrick Mahomes, that just shows me that you're biased because that's who you grew up with, which is okay. I'm all right with that. But just no, say that I, I his best his best year both. his best year was twenty three touchdowns and fourteen picks was his best year, and and, we're, and he I, averaged two hundred fifteen oh. passing. Hold on, two hundred fifteen passing yards again. You come in my home for not throwing for three hundred yards in a, in a fucking a Super Bowl. This motherfucker best year twenty three touchdowns, fourteen picks, two hundred and fifteen passing yards. Come on, JB. I don't give a fuck about air because there's other quarterbacks who play in that same era like Dan Marino, who I bet you pull his numbers up. It looked way different. It look way different. So don't so come on, bro. Troy Aikman, Hall of Famer. I hate doing it because he is an all-time great. He won, he 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 was on part of one of the greatest Cowboys teams of all time, one of the greatest NFL teams of all time. But to put him in a GOAT conversation, it just black, it don't make sense. It don't make sense. And that's okay. He's just not, he's not the GOAT. He's not in that conversation. Listen, dog, I'm not gonna even debate it with you because you have no clue what you're talking about. No offense, no, no offense. I'm uh, cool with that, but even the guys who do know what they're talking about, they don't bring them up. <laughs> like and they don't know what they're talking about. So, all right, so JB's the only person who knows what he's talking about. Cool. I'm, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. No, no. Sean Salisbury, who played in the NFL, who's undefeated versus John Elway, he knows what he's talking about. Sean King, he knows what he's talking about. Uh Clint Storner, he knows what he's talking about. Noel Mazzoni, he knows what he's talking about. These are guys I've had on the show talk about it and break so it quick, down. So guys, who, are, so guys who agree with you know what they're talking side? about. Why are they all on my side? Quick question. So guys who agree with you know what they're talking about, correct? No. Because I could bring on a list no. of NFL guys who no. I've spoken with too who will no. come on this show and they would no. and they would agree with me. No, so, no, no. No, no, so no, no. You know, you, know who, you, you know who you guys listen to? Mina fucking Kimes. No, you're I can bring gonna, NFL gonna, players because again, time, that's what you do. That's what you do when you don't have ammo for what for what I said. You bring up something that has There's nothing no to ammo. do with it. The ammo, is, the ammo has zero to do with what I'm talking about. Shot, matter of fact, 
Shout out to Mina Kimes for finding a path for herself to become a millionaire, which she do because she's bigger than both of us right now. I'm not gonna hate on somebody else that's bigger than both of us right now. Fuck it. Go to the next topic. Can't even talk about it to a motherfucker that don't know shit about quarterbacks. I can't even talk. So fuck it. I was talking. I was talking. If I'm already talking, let me finish. Then you talk. You've already talked the whole time, homie. It's been your segment. It's been your segment. Quarterback says you're the quarterback whisperer now, homie. Go ahead. You start talking about. Smitty will talk about quarterbacks every day on this show now, and we'll listen to all the stat facts. JB's emotional right back. now. JB mad right now. <laughs> JB yeah, emotional yeah, right now. <laughs> you, you've been talking about quarterbacks, homie. A D lineman. A D lineman talking about quarterbacks with Mina Kimes. Like, you're glazing Mina Kimes about quarterbacks over Sean Salisbury. That I'm under his skin. <laughs> that shit is crazy to me. God damn. I'm under his skin. I mean, if I see, luckily I'm a nice guy. I just let you talk. Like that's why I let you talk. Like I'm letting you talk, but you, you, your points mean nothing. Like your stats mean nothing. It's not worth my time to speak to guys in the chat that have no clue about quarterback play and have no clue about what teams they played on and what offense they ran versus a era that allowed you to get hit versus an era that you can't get hit in. Versus an era where we're spread out throwing the ball 40, 50 times a game versus an era where we were in two back tight end sets, 21 personnel, and running play action pass in Troy Aikman's instance. There's no reason to even compare that to you. You guys don't understand it. You guys have no clue about real football. All you do is look at fucking stats that they give you on a prompter because you're all fucking social media coaches. Stop. I'm not even going to argue it. Homie, next. You guys get it. You can have it. 